Welcome to this episode of Distance Learning with the Bakersfield Symphony. Our distance learning series is made possible by generous sponsors and donors from our community. This year's premier sponsors are Kern Family Healthcare and Kern County Superintendent of Schools. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at the fourth movement of Gustav Holst's Planet Suite, entitled Jupiter, the Bringer of Jollity. The planet Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and is by far the largest planet in the solar system. In fact, Jupiter is twice as large as all the other planets combined and has more than 75 moons. Its famous big red spot is a huge storm that has been raging for centuries. A less well-known fact, while Saturn is the planet famous for its rings, Jupiter also has rings, but they are so faint that it wasn't until a spacecraft got in for a closer view that they were discovered. The planet is named after the Roman god Jupiter, who is the ruler of the Roman gods and resides in and rules over the skies. Holst names this movement Jupiter the Bringer of Jollity, which has much more to do with the astrology of Jupiter than the Roman god it's named after. In astrology, Jupiter represents all the good things in life, success, prosperity, knowledge, vitality, and as Holst points out with his title, joy and happiness. Let's take a moment to think about the word that Holst uses to describe Jupiter, the bringer of jollity. Jollity can be defined as joy, merriment, or cheerfulness. Most people think of joy as happiness, but there are a lot of different forms this can take. There are surface-level experiences that cause joy. A trip to Disneyland, a compliment, an unexpected gift. There are also deeper, less outwardly exuberant types of joy. The joy that comes with a quiet evening watching a beautiful sunset, or joy in watching your newborn baby sleep in your arms. Joy isn't always loud and bombastic, and it doesn't necessarily lead to public celebration. There are many quiet, private types of joy that are just as meaningful and real as the more public kinds. Holst explores the full gamut in this movement. Let's listen to some of the main themes from the movement. As we listen, I'd like you to imagine what kind of joy Holst is portraying at that point in the music. What kind of joyful event might match the music? Please remember there are no wrong answers here. I'll give you my answers after we listen, but try to pull your answers from your own life experience. Get ready for the opening melody of the movement. What kind of joyful event does this remind you of? The music reminds me of the excitement of a new beginning, maybe starting a new school year, new job, or going off to college, or even some type of shorter-term adventure like a vacation in a foreign country or a week at a summer camp. It seems full of confidence and hope and excitement. Let's listen to the next main theme. What joyful event does this remind you of?
makes me think of the joy that you can find in the everyday. It's choosing to dance down the street instead of walking. It's choosing to sing along with the radio instead of just listening. It's turning an everyday task into a game. We'll listen to one more theme together. What joyful event does this remind you of? This is a quiet, personal kind of joy, but perhaps the strongest feeling of all. It's something that starts deep down. Perhaps it's joy in an accomplishment, or joy in someone else's accomplishment. Perhaps it's something as simple as enjoying a sunset and truly feeling how wonderful it is to sit and see such a beautiful thing. Let's listen to a portion of the music now containing all of these different themes. Think about what each theme means to you as you are listening.
Now, that wasn't the whole movement. I do encourage you to find the link in the description of the video and listen to the full recording. I hope you enjoyed listening to and learning about Jupiter. I've got some follow-up questions and activities for you. Pick one of the themes or sections of music that we listened to when I asked you to come up with a joyful event that fit the music. Go back and listen to that theme again. Write a paragraph or draw a picture describing the joyful event you imagine with that portion of the music. There's been a lot of music over the years that represents or is about joy. Find another song that's about joy and compare that song to Jupiter. How is the music the same? How is it different? Think about what ideas about joy the composer of the music is trying to get across. How are the ideas about joy the same or different than what Holst says with his music? I gave a few facts about the planet Jupiter in the beginning of the video. Do some research and find three facts about the planet Jupiter that were not presented in the video. The Roman god Jupiter was the ruler of all the gods. Do some research about what the Roman god Jupiter was like. Does his character fit the character of Holst's music? Describe the similarities or differences between the character of the music and the character of the Roman god. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back for our next episode.